everybody, this is Praxis, and today has been actually a really awesome day. I wasn't sure at the beginning of the day, you know, what I was going to do or how productive it was going to be because for the past two evenings, we've been leaving the house unlocked, being told that the electrical inspector may come by in the evening, so we want to have the house open to him, and two nights in a row they didn't show up. So this morning when we got here, I saw there was no sign off. You know, I'm thinking, well, like, what am I going to do? Because the big thing that I want to do, if you look below you, are the floors. Uh, I know this is the first time you guys have gotten to see the floors. I'm pretty pleased with how this first pass of stain came out. But I've got to do another pass of stain, uh, and I'm finally able to do it today because the electrical inspection happened. I didn't find out until like an hour ahead of time, uh, but that was great, you know, that it was actually happening. Uh, but it was frustrating because this morning uh, I, didn't, I didn't think I could do this stain because I didn't know when the electrical inspector was going to come. And I don't want to do the stain, and then like a couple hours later, the electrical inspector wants to walk through the house and I'm like, oh, you can't walk on the floors because we just stained them. So uh, it had been kind of awkward, but it solved itself, uh, you know, through just, you know, me waiting and feeling awkward about it, but it's done and I was able to get a few things done this morning as well. Uh, I took this railing off and stained it and got it all nice and sanded, not in that order, in reverse order. This one is completely done, it's rounded at the end as well. I did the railing for the uh, top floor because I kept saying everything in the house is done except for the railing. I did the railing, it's all sanded, it's cut to exact length. These uh, little support brackets are up on there. I haven't attached it yet because as I was in the process of attaching it, I got the surprise that the electrical inspection was going to happen. So while that was happening, River and I were outside, you know, because we got COVID and everything. So we were outside, I was cutting firewood, got a bunch of cut firewood cut. Uh, we're running air filters in here right now. It's been a while since the people have been in here anyway. Uh, and now I'm able to do the staining on the floor. It's going to be kind of a late day. I mean, it's already you know starting to get dark outside. But I really want to get this on right now because once I put on this coat of stain, we have to wait a week for the stuff here to really, really dry before we put on the finished coats because this is an oil-based stain and we're doing uh, water-based seal coats later on. Uh, after I do the first coat of water-based steel, steel coat, I gotta wait a day before I can do the second one. And after that, I wanna wait three or four days before I really start walking on the floor. So it's seven plus one plus three or four uh, before we can move in. But in terms of inspections, things are going well. We have the electrical inspection today. We passed, that's great. The next one that we're gonna get, well, I don't know the order of them, but we have to get a, a smoke detector inspection. Who knows when that's gonna happen? We, been uh, on the guy's list for a week or more for him to spin by. Uh, who knows when he's gonna do it. Uh, I'm supposed to be told, you know, last minute notice uh, when he's gonna be coming by. So smoke detector inspection, plumbing inspection, I'm supposed to be told about that at some point. Uh, and then it's the final inspection. And then we can move in legally. And the only thing that I wanna make sure I have done before we move in is have these floors so we can bring stuff up and we don't have to move it all off later. The way that I'm doing these floors is I'm gonna put my hand into a rubber glove and then put a sock on my hand, dip my hand into the stain, rub the, the stain into the wood, and then scrape off as much as I can with this rag. Stain on, stain off, stain on, stain off. That's it. Thanks for watching.